What's up guys, Leo here, and today we're doing another Loyal Subject set. This time we have the Game of Thrones, so we we're hoping to have these done by the series finale, but unfortunately we, I don't think we were able to find them all by that point, and then we just had so many other videos and figures of stuff to do, so I haven't been able to make it to these. We're finally doing them now, but again, these are the Game of Thrones, so I don't, pretty sure we don't have the entire collection, we just have like one of all the major figures and stuff that we want, and then some additional that we'll see here in a second. So first up here we have the Night King, we have Jon Snow and Daenerys Targaryen, and then from the back row, at least the ones you can see, we have Tyrion. Lannister, Jamie Lannister, I believe in this one is Cersei Lannister, and then we have one of the White Walkers in here. So we got those characters to look at, and then we also have the dragons to go along with them. So we have Drogon, Rhaegal, and Viserion up here, and even to go along with that, we have Ghost here, the so to go with Jon Snow and everything. So we have all these figures to open up and look at. Unfortunately, we did not, could not figure out how you get the White Viserion, but we because my brother really wanted that, and these are his figures and everything, so we wanted to get those as well. But unfortunately, we don't know exactly how you. You're supposed to be able to get that before we open these if you're into collecting video games or like all sorts of nerdy culture things don't forget to hit that subscribe button so let's go ahead and open these and our first character up here is the night king which is pretty cool always one of my favorite characters from the show and everything i always like a good villain here we have the night king so he's all blue as you can see with his skin and everything i like his head up here it reminds of course of like darth maul with all the spikes coming out but it's supposed to be you know like ice chunks and everything coming out of the top his eyes look very creepy with the light blue eyes and then the black surrounding him everything his face like kind of being stretched out and everything there looks pretty cool then we got his arms coming down with the sharp claws on his hands here he has the ice spear and this is just the original night king nothing too special about it. then he's just in the armor here as you can see i like the texture and everything it's like metallic y kind of blue dark blue color so that's kind of cool that they added that color into it there and then his feet down there at the bottom with like these shoes on that look metal and everything on it. but it's pretty cool that it has this ice spear on it so it's got the of course the giant spear made of ice of course he throws that at viserion in i think season six and then ends up you know turning it into ice dragon so it's pretty cool and you can obviously take the spear out and then take it and make it like he's gonna throw it but i'm gonna also kind of read from their little card and stuff so obviously the night king is affiliated with the white walkers and the army of the dead as he's the thing which kind of says here it says interesting fact he's the creator of the white walkers which we all know that and everything so it's a pretty cool little figure there and stuff for the night king and next up here we have the original john snow which is john snow i believe from castle black so when he's in the all black armor there and stuff and so we've got john snow here so there's a little course of his face looks very similar to john snow the shorter curly hair there and the beard and everything there and you can see his big brown eyes looks pretty nice there and stuff then he's got his uh, cloak or his fur over here so it goes over the shoulders you can see all the fur there the cloak hanging down in the back then we got his all black armor there in the front of course being a part of the night's watch and everything they were all black he's got black gloves black boots and again all leather black outfit there and black belt and everything then we have long claw here in his hand of course given to him by the commander mormont at the wall and so there we've got the long claw there which is reshaping into the dire wolf with the red eyes and everything and he also comes with a sheath for that kind of is supposed to pop in on his leg but his legs kind of twisted in here and so to get it have to like push the cape out of the way and so it's kind of in the way so I can't really do that but you can put long claw into it like that and everything so that's kind of cool it comes with that as well and his card says he's affiliated with house stark Hughes house words are winter is coming as we all know one of his quotes is there's only one war that matters the great war and the interesting fact is he died and was brought back to life of course we know that too if you've watched the show and everything and that's it for Jon Snow next up is the original Daenerys Targaryen and again when I keep saying original there's like special versions which we'll see here but these are just all the original regular ones nothing special about them but we have Daenerys here so we can take a look at her face up there big bright blue eyes of course they're supposed to be purple if you read the book and stuff they're supposed to be a like a violet color um her long blonde hair come down and like of course the braids they did a really good job with like detailing the braids and everything it looks very nice there it's a very nice hair design overall for her there and she's in a blue dress as you can see here this is again I don't know the exact location but it's when she's going around collecting the slaves that's where she gets I believe the unsullied I think is when this outfit and stuff is from and then she gets the whip from the owners there so that's the um, owner of the slaver's whip there as you can see the design with winged figure there on the end of it and stuff then of course the whip part down here at the bottom and then she's just got the brown legs and everything of course they all have movements i don't really point that out because i don't really mess with their movements and once i just get them to stand and leave them there i don't want to mess around with them too much but she looks very nice overall i wish she came with something else i don't know what maybe a dragon's egg or something would have been cool but we have daenerys targaryen with affiliated with house targaryen her house words are fire and blood quote all men must die but we are not men and an interesting fact is she's impervious to fire which of course with the dragon blood there that's what she's got but that's it for Daenerys next up here is Tyrion Lannister and this is the battle damage version so here's an example it's not original we have battle damage here which you can tell by battle damage because he has this scar that goes along his face so you can see he's got the brown hair up here the longer style hair all combed back and everything the blue eyes and of course the scar that goes down across his face that cut his face open then he's in like a brown I don't know exactly what this color is it's like a brayish brown color of like tunic 
mixed up here. He has the Hand of the King patch up there and then some red sleeves coming down and some brown leggings and boots. He has this crossbow here that he uses quite a bit and then it books. That's pretty cool. Interesting there for Tyrion. I like him coming with the crossbow and everything. And so for Tyrion Lannister, he's affiliated with House Lannister. His house words are hear me roar. He has a quote, that's what I do. I drink and I know things. And interesting fact, he served as both the Hand of the King and the Hand of the Queen, of course. So that is it for Tyrion Lannister. Next up is Jaime Lannister and I believe this is from like season one. So he doesn't have his hand cut off yet and it kind of looks more he's got more of the blonde style hair and stuff as the character did there so there's a look at Jamie Lannister again the blue eyes same as all the other Lannisters the blonde hair being swept back and everything looks of course like Prince Charming he's got the King Guard armor here so like the all silver and white armor as you can see the nice all plating and stuff there but like the silver it's got some gold there along with it as well has some like reddish orange colors there on the sleeve and then of course brown gloves and then the pants that there go down into the armor boots there as well again uh, very much from season one and then he's got a sword here on the side which is just a Jamie Lannister sword it's got the lion's head on it so of course he's affiliated with House Lannister his words are hear me roar or his quote there are no men like me only me and interesting in fact he has one golden hand of course in here he doesn't have the golden hand yet because it was not cut off by the Bolton group yet so he still has both hands there from season one and that's it for Jamie Lannister next up is Cersei Lannister and this is her mourning outfit so after the loss of Joffrey we can see her face up here again I think it's kind of funny her, so obviously these don't you know look exactly like the characters but I think her face looks more like Marjorie Tyrell here and with the design and outfit and everything I think that's who this looks like more than it does Cersei but I still think but it's still pretty cool there so she has the eyes you can see she has more of like a green color eye there so a little bit different from her brother she has the long blonde hair again coming out with braids and everything in the back nice flowing down then she's in a blackish brown color dress with some lighter brown tan there on the sides as well and again it's like a metallic tank color there she has a necklace around her neck and then she also comes with a goblet as her accessories you can see some rings there on her finger as well there and so she's got the of course where she's drinking and stuff because she just lost her most prized precious little son of Joffrey so that's really all there is for her and so she's affiliated with House Lannister words of hear me worship quote when you play the Game of Thrones you win or you die and an interesting fact she destroyed the great Septa Baylor and everyone inside with wildfire so she killed a whole bunch of people there which was pretty dang cool and that's it for Cersei Lannister next up here we have the White Walker which is an original nothing special about it and so we have the White Walker here so it looks like you know an old dead body that's turned in very similar to the Ice King but it's one of his followers so he's got the all bluish color skin with the blue eyes with the black all the way around it he has kind of a beard though here on like the night king the long white hair in the back there that's flowing then of course the emaciated body it's you know all skin and bones and pretty much nothing else onto it he does have some leather gauntlets there a little like loincloth type design kind of like a caveman and then some armor there down on his legs and then he comes with an ice spear of course that they use to kill people and turn them into white walkers as well so that's pretty cool that he comes with that so that's really nothing else special about him or anything for the white walker but it's still pretty cool so he's affiliated with the night king and the other white walkers and the army of the dead and an interesting fact is that he was once a human so that's going to be it for the white walker and now we get into the animals so first up here we have ghost which of course is a dire wolf an albino one so he's got the all white fur and the red eyes as you can see there it looks pretty dang cool so i like again the red eyes that really stick out on this figure and stuff and so of course with these animals they do have some moves stuff so like the head can twist around and the arms can move back and forth and everything so you can see the big claws there and stuff and of course he's supposed to be a giant wolf and everything but of course we can't really compare too much to the characters because it's just kind of made there the tail can move around and everything's got nice gnarly teeth there so it's getting ready to bite you and everything just looks very cool of course they don't come with any accessories or anything unfortunately though but the ghost looks very cool but for ghost says ghost is one of six direwolf pups that are found by the children of house stark he's adopted and raised by Jon snow and ghost is an albino with white fur and red eyes of course i said all that already so that's it for ghost now we're in the dragons we have drogon starting out first of course daenerys his favorite one here and so the dragon looks pretty cool so it's got the like brownish gray skin so it's kind of like a darker color overall has the orange i think it's supposed to be more like red but it's got the orange like wings and little parts and spikes like all over its body and stuff so i like again the detail of different colors between each of the different dragons we can see its face up here it's got the red eyes the horns coming off of its head of course big giant teeth and a flame that's coming out of the mouth as like an accessory you can just have them normal but i like the look with the flame in their mouth so let's take it out like that and then of course their heads can move their wings can move and adjust their feet can move and then the tail can twist around as well and oh it also has a joint there in the body you can kind of have to had to play around especially with this one trying to get it to stand up it's kind of all crooked and everything all the parts were twisted around so it kind of took me a while to get it to figure it out it's still not sitting up perfectly straight and everything but still very cool for Drogon and for his information this Drogon is a male dragon belongs to Daenerys Targaryen he's the largest of her three dragons and as well as the most spirited and aggressive as such as Daenerys has problems keeping him under control he is distinguished by his charcoal colored scales and fiery red wings he is named after Daenerys's late husband Cal Drogo so that's 
gonna be it for Drogon. Next up we have Rigel here, which is the green dragon as you can see. So it's green and it's supposed to have like yellow design wings, but they're kind of like a neon green color, which I think looks really cool. Again, very same layout and it's very similar to Drogon, obviously just different colors and everything. Still has the flame there coming out of its mouth. Same movements and everything. But again, I do like the neon like green colors going on in here, of course, with the horns, the wings, the parts up here by the spikes, and then the things on its tail going down there. So again, very cool. Same movements and everything, so nothing too special about it, but again, looks very cool. And I didn't think about it on Drogon, but I think you'd probably take Daenerys and stick her yeah, onto the back kind of right there. She will fit onto it and stuff, so she could ride on him there. But for Rhaegal, says Rhaegal is the male dragon belonging to Daenerys Targaryen. He's the brother of Drogo and Viserion. Green and bronze in color, he is the middle sibling of the three dragons, and although not as fierce as the larger Drogo, he is still quite dangerous and is named after Daenerys' brother Rhaegar Targaryen. And the last one here is Viserion, which of course is the one that ends up getting turned by the Night King and ends up getting turned into a white. So unfortunately, we don't care too much about Viserion. He turned against as a Viserion. Again, just similar to the others, just obviously different colors. He's got brown color with red wings. You can see there, red webbings and everything. So he has the cream color horns and the fire again coming out of his mouth. Same movements and everything. Again, I like the red design going on to the brown here. Again, nothing too special though. And I wish we did get the white Viserion, but unfortunately, we, I don't know how to get that one. So if you do know, let me know in the comments. But for his information, it says Viserion is a male dragon belonging to Daenerys Targaryen. He is the smallest and least aggressive of her three dragons, though he is still makes for a dangerous foe when threatened. He can be distinguished by his cream and gold colored scales, and he is named after Daenerys' brother Viserys Targaryen. And that's going to be it for this opening of the Game of Thrones loyal subjects figures here again of this entire wave. Again, I don't, pretty sure we don't have every single figure, and there's obviously different variations and more rare ones and everything, but I got all the ones that we could find all the different character versions of. But that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to let me know in the comments down below. Let me know who your favorite character from Game of Thrones was or who you hated least and let me know what you thought of the series finale of the last season of Game of Thrones. I didn't think it was too bad. Um, it wasn't obviously perfect and, and I wish some different stuff happened but I didn't think it was absolutely terrible. But go ahead and let me know your opinion in the comments and of course leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel to see more figure videos. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you next time.